Welcome back for another TV show. This is your host with the coast at GPP TV, aka Grandpa Peng, and welcome back for another video. Today's video, uh, I'll be explaining to you guys what is the best specialist or be best specialist to use in Black Ops 3. These are all my opinions. If you want, you can actually follow, use these opinions and specialist out and try it out for yourself. But first things first, I'm actually using the scythe. Uh, I think his name is Reaper and he's basically um this specialist is basically has a minigun. Every time you get a kill with the minigun, I'm actually you get like a hundred points plus twenty five uh points. It comes with hundred twenty five points per kill. My opinion this is a very good specialist in getting your score streaks easily. And you probably easily get um maybe your hater easily but score streaks I'm using is UAV care package and count UAV and, and I can actually just cycle through them the school streaks easily if I'm using the scythe scythe is a very 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 good specialist to use my other specialist that I actually was interested in using is the combat focus I'm gonna switch into the next gameplay the specialist I'm using right now, it's called, um, her name is called Seraph, and she has two specialist abilities. She has the Annihilator Pistol, or the Combat Focus. The Combat Focus is unique from other specialists. This is basically a specialist, um, when you actually get scores or, like, kills or objective game modes, like, if you capture a flag in Domination, you get, like, double the points. It's basically a double XP, basically, basically you could actually say that. And you can actually easily get your school streaks easy. Like, for example, if I got one kill in domination, that equals 100 kills. But if I, acti if I activate combat focus, I'll get double the points in my scores. In my opinion, this is good for all around types of game modes. Uh, mainly for domination, kill confirmed, and probably team deathmatch. Not for safeguard or demolition. In my opinion, that's what the, the reason why I'm actually talking about these game modes is like if you play kill confirm if you get like three kills just pick up the tags you'll get like quadruple points like easily you, you'll actually try it try out yourself the reason why not demolition or safeguard is because safeguard you get 50 50 points per kill and when i tried playing safeguard it was really i couldn't barely get my score streaks when i was doing combat focus and my opinion you should try to use it for use the uh, scythe reaper for safeguard because you'll get probably more than you'll probably get like a hundred points per kill worth it which is crazy and you just cycle through your score streaks now this time for the honorable mentions number one on a honorable mention list these are all my opinions you can use out the tempest the tempest because you when you shoot one guy it'll come maybe collateral to another guy if, they, uh, if one of the enemies step it into your electricity radius and you get like more than like I think it's 70 points, 75 points per kill with the Tempest. Second on that honorable mention list is using the Hive. The Hive because think of that, think of that, those killer beehives as like your claymores. And you, you can just lock it down in a domination point. Like on, think of playing domination on the B site and you can actually just put it like around the, the B site. And think of that as like the no rush zone. But anyway, that is it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed something new. If so, hit hit that like button down below. Subscribe to me if you want to see similar videos like those in the future. As always, my name is at GPPTV, aka Grandpa Penguin. I'm signing out. Peace and love.